families, and it's a spectrum of combining the force of chair, together, dragon, looting, crown of rye. So the train on her gills, but if it had a team of wraps, send it within a lot. Hello, happy Monday night. It's been a while. It's been quite a while. Uh, I hope your guys' last, like, three weeks has been wonderful, and I sincerely apologize for leaving you guys all alone in this horribly dark world without the sweet, soothing sounds of my voice and the voices of our wonderful guests. Uh, we're keeping it old school tonight. We have, we have Uber Bandit, we have Nyx, and we may or may not have Deru Bale. He came in the call, he went AFK, and that was the last we ever heard of him. So, maybe, maybe he's back, maybe he's not. I don't know. Um, if I sound really different or really bad, it's because I have a different microphone set up. And so you're just going to have to work with me to tell me how it sounds. If I'm a lot louder or a lot quieter than everybody else, tell me that too, so I can adjust it. Uh, thank you guys for joining. If you haven't hit the follow button, do that. I'll let you know when I'm streaming again. Uh, I guess we should take these nerds off hold. Nyx is not going to be pleased about that video if she watched it. Do, 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 do. All right. And I have them. Dara Bell, are you here? Is he here yet? No dare bail. All right, Nix, say hello. I played that opening video just for you. <laughs> Why, thank you. Mm -hmm. Although, you know, I could use a crown of Ryle. Could you? On which one of your alts is that? <laughs> My main. I don't have one. Um, I don't know. From what I read in the forums, everybody has at least two or three of them. Are you listening to Teagles again? I listen to everything in on the internet actually I listen to absolutely everything on the internet do you believe it all um of course I do uber bandit back me up they can't put it on the internet if it's not true I'm not gonna lie I'm not even in TMO and I felt that in my jimmies like that was <laughs> that was a swing ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah shots were fired early hear my dog barking i swear to god my dog knows like when stream starts because he barks <laughs> so tell me things people well i have things are we, are we talking about thing things or other things all of the above well start with something that's semi eq related i played a bunch of landmark recently oh really how was that um, voxels are cool. It runs like ass, but I had fun. This is still the uh, building world game, not yeah, the next. yeah. Mm -hmm. And like voxel based mining is honestly kind of fun compared to you know block based mining, and like the building and all the stupid things you can do are also fairly entertaining. But uh... how is it different than like, like? 3D version of Terraria. Um, nothing wants to eat you, though I hear they're fixing that. Um, not 
Not a ton besides it's voxel based. So Which, there are like merbs that will try to kill you, like I think that's something they want to do. <clears throat> it's not in yet. Mm-hmm. It that's... was fairly like like it it was very obviously not finished. That's what ESO said about the uh, Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, but I don't know, man. Like, have you done anything with Landmark? No, I've I've there watched is... people stream it, and that is about the limit of my Landmark. Find like there's an opening video cinematic thing that is like what I assume to be the lead dev just like saying shit. And the the shit he said made me fairly confident in the like this game seeing fruition and like not being a complete pile of ass. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It like, sounds like if you hear, can you hear weird sounds coming from my end? Only when yeah. you jiggle your microphone. Okay, I just diddled the mic, but before I was diddling the mic, nothing, no, nothing like someone rotting out a pipe with a long metal nope. thing. We did not hear you beating your dog. That's wonderful, because if you guys can't hear that, then we're just, we're going to run with it. Because mm-hmm. I hear it. I hear it very well, and I'm not, I'm none too thrilled. Well, I've had free time on my hands. Have you done anything with Landmark? No, I haven't, but I've had a lot of free EQ time. P99 EQ time? Yes. What have you been doing with this time? Hmm. Well, I can tell you what I've not been doing. Tell me what you've not been doing. I've not seen the inside of a sp- specific zone for a while. Hmm. That's sad. Which zone is that? VP, because we've been suspended. But I've been doing other stuff, working on my ranger. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. I know we were talking a little bit before we started streaming about this. Is this the suspension that I threw down and that Derry Bale overturned and then that Derry Bale reinstated? He didn't overturn it. He just put it on hold. Well, all right, fine. We'll say uh, suspended the suspension and yeah, then unsuspended say, the suspension. How do you put a suspension on hold. <laughs> you do. You give it a stay. It like reminds me of, of it's like suspending like the shitty high school kid around his basketball schedule is mm-hmm. what it's like. It's like, <laughs> all right, kid, you're suspended on Tuesday and Wednesday, but we're going to let you ball on Thursday night. But then you're suspended again Friday. So don't even think of being, you know, like it's OK. Well, yes, that that particular suspension um, I actually completely washed my hands of that after, after it was appealed, because I didn't want to deal with it at all. Um, I didn't even read the thread. Did do you know why it was re- unsuspended or reinstated, depending on how you want to say it? Like, have you heard a reason as to what was said as to why? Because I don't even know. The gist that, that I got which is not a word for word, of course, is the fact that apparently everybody that raids in in BP is going to have to control their dragon aggro no matter who runs through the path of the dragon. So if you have a wild person that just runs through the path of the dragon while you're moving another dragon out of the way, you're still responsible for that person even though they had no business being there. Okay, now this, what I'm about to say, is going to sound absolutely absurd. And so I got to throw that disclaimer out there before I say it for your own well-being. But has anybody in your guild of the hundreds of people in TMO, have any of them considered the idea of actually going to where the mob is to kill it as opposed to pulling it through the entire zone to the entrance? See, I I thought that the guilds had agreed to kill at entrance. I'm just wondering if it's ever been suggested or thrown out there, because regardless of your nice little entrance agreement, it looks like the guilds are having problems following that, and so it makes me think maybe that's not the best working agreement. See, the bad thing is that to get a guild force up there is kind of hard. I suppose you can cough them in, but there's so many more mobs there that, that see 
Right. Spoiler alert, though. VP's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be the hardest dungeon in the game. Well, like, there's a reason those things repop as fast as they do. <laughs> well, as long as, you know, everybody plays by the same rules, then it's easy to do. But when you have one guild who likes to um, not take responsibility for their stuff and just stay in the game when they need to camp, then we can't control that. Right? I guess bad players are just going to be bad players and there's nothing we can do about it. I I have a solution. It's really fucking simple. Are you ready? You're going to say don't kill dragons. <laughs> See? You already know it. What's the problem? But they have my crown of Ryle. Well, have you tried asking them nicely? And a robe of smothering. There's a lot of things I'd like. You sound like a poacher. Robe of smothering sounds terrible. like a terrible time. <laughs> well, have you seen that robe? It's turquoise. It's beautiful. Oh, god damn it. Shook's on you. Turquoise is like the same color as blue. And green. <laughs> no, it's turquoise. Yeah, well, I'm a little colored one. Not an Uber Bandit's world. It's all the same fucking color. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. <laughs> um, I guess I forgot to have you people say hi, so... So, Nix, tell these people who you are. Pretend they have no idea who you are. Hi, I'm Nix. Uh, well, I was a, a druid in TMO, but I'm, I now I'm a main cleric. But um, I'm, I'm part of the evil empire that lots of people love to hate. But we're just, we're just great people. I just realized my headset's been unplugged. A plus. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We still love you. Uber Bandit. Just, yeah, I was like to... asking Nick questions and shit. And I'm like, why isn't she fucking responding to me right now? <laughs> You're sitting there like, these people are being rude as fuck tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm gonna take my ball and go home. <laughs> fucking. Well, Uber Bandit. Or, no, fuck it. Darabell, you're here. Say hello. Tell these people who you are. Um, I'm Darabell. I'm the investigation GM. I don't stream. I don't even really play games that much. Um,. And I have a mouthful of food. And you should click the follow button. And tune in every Monday. And the only way you're going to see me is if you do something bad. Or if something bad happens to you. Mm -hmm. and that's what What if you want to change your last name? I uh, usually let the guys do that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. If I see a last name petition in, I do it. Yeah, I won't. Sometimes people don't. Uh, I don't. Choose I don't. Uh, I don't actually appear though. I just show up and I change the name and I never say anything to the player. <laughs> I do that. Even too. though I remember in one meeting I was like, "Make sure you respond to every player, even if you're just really quickly changing their name." <laughs> <coughs> I remember saying this to the rest of the CSR stuff. I think I'm gonna die. Hold on. <laughs> nope, I'm not gonna die. It passed. Whatever it was. <clears throat> that was close though, it was close. Um, Uber Bandit. Yeah. Pretend no one's ever heard of you. Um, hi, I'm Uber Bandit. Mm -hmm. I, that's about <laughs> as important as I get. Um no. I I used to stream a little bit sometimes, but I haven't touched it too much because I've been playing games that I'm not sure my graphics card could handle me streaming slash I'm sorry, but uh I like my thirty FPS. You can all Take your balls and go home. That butter smooth 30 FPS. Look, man, some games just aren't optimized. It's like playing on the PlayStation at 26 FPS. <laughs> Uber Bandit also sponsors or or hosts the the newbie channel or the newbie thread on the forums. He so has we'll been very ir irresponsible with his thread duties. <laughs> oh dear. I uh I've been watching his thread. Is it alive again? I don't know, because it fell off the front page, and I couldn't be bothered yeah. to click page two. See, like, I, I've i gone at the Reddit and done things sometimes, but I, I, I can't give them the love that they deserve, and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Uber I'm here now, though. It's Oops. okay. They Out would... of the woodwork, I'm here. They would take you for granted if you were there every time they said something. Well, no, they'd think I was useful, and then that would go against my entire class concept. 
Oh, to be fair though, you've played all the classes. This this is true. Do you just well, you feel ranger in your heart? Yeah, well, it's the one and only one I've gotten thirty plus. So, although honestly, I there's there's not a lot of room in EverQuest right now, or for EverQuest with me right now. Sentences. EverQuest is like Jello, buddy. There's always room for that. I. <laughs> I More than you think. would like to know. <laughs> I don't think okay. there's always room for Jello. Um, I think you have a bad attitude. Um, I think I have a pretty good attitude, actually. Mm. I had a little form explosion last night. Really? Oh, I saw that. Mm -hmm. I saw, was that where you were like, I typed Fuck the wall you. of text, but uh -huh. highlighted it, and yeah, I saw that. A plus. I had this, like, really long, nice message typed out that was like, Oh, we put so much effort into the server, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it went on and on and on. I looked <laughs> at it, and I was like, this isn't what I really want to say. What I really want to say is, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. Uh oh. Sarah Bam. I wasn't even all that upset, but, like, I just get really tired of, like, the constant, and it really is constant criticism of our decisions or we are empty or you know we don't do anything we don't like that all just drives oh me man crazy. i almost made chest had said something um what did he say he made a post basically being like i talked to Sirkin, he explained some things to me they made a lot of sense and i'm glad that those things are things amazing and i was like amazing and so i was going to make a post quoting him and being like just now part of you know this the corrupt mm -hmm. rmt ring or whatever right, right. like clearly on the taking the that would have been so good <laughs> and then i was just like you know what i don't i don't know if i can post that <laughs> like i thought i had a put good like, put like a little like thanks for greasing my palm last night just exactly like i i don't know where the meter is on like the right. sense of humor right, anymore right. like i don't know what we can post and what we can't yep yep, yep. Like, I think I told you, fucking, last time I saw Rogan, he was like, let's order a Bloomin' Onion, take a picture of us with mm -hmm. it, and post mm -hmm. it on the forums. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, we can't do that, because some nerd's going to see that, and yep. be like, yep. see, I told you they fucking RMT, look. Yep. There's yep. the Bloomin' Onions right there, it's all yep. true. A, uh, yep, yep, exactly. Confirmed <laughs> true. Fucking. <laughs> I don't, uh, I didn't need to deal with that. <laughs> No, there is somebody yeah. on the forums that has a bloomin' onion as their uh, icon. Yeah, they're... That's it. Avatar. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You want to know a secret? I don't even like bloomin' onions. Wouldn't it even... Okay. I've never okay. had one either. I've had them. I just don't like them. I wouldn't... If you offered me a bloomin' onion, I would not eat it. Are they not hard to eat? Because they're all, like, attached at the bottom? Well, I mean, about as hard as it is to rip a breaded onion apart. It's not very hard. You just pull. No, it's not. No. Yeah. But in any case, I got tired of all that. So I had a little bit of a flip out. <clears throat> it needed to be said. Did you say... Um, I also sent Metallicus a very special PM about his form activity. I told him in his vent channel that I'm not pleased with it. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, who I, are you? I straight up told him. And I'm going to say this publicly because I almost posted it on the forums, but I decided I would take him aside and not uh, embarrass him. But I straight up told him, I said, look, if you keep up this shit, I'm coming after your in-game accounts too. We're allowed. Yeah, we got the go-ahead for that. <laughs> I mean, it's not something we exercise often, right? Like, we understand the forums and the, the game itself are two linked but separate ecosystems. But at the same time, if someone goes too far... Like, now, we will put an in-game suspension, or possibly even a ban, if you if you really cross the line. Um, but it's not something we're going to do all the time. But uh, this guy's been posting conspiracy theories for years now. And he is I a just conspiracy got theory. What was that? I mean, yeah, he is all about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Sirkin, apparently, you banned TMO. Um, I, and suspended, then I, I suspended them. Right, you 
suspended them. I unsuspended them. No, no, you suspended uh, the suspension. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and uh, so I'm taking bribes from TMO. Uh, you're you're somehow taking bribes from TMO, even though you didn't you suspended them. I don't know how but, that flies. But you're on the <laughs> payroll for sure. I mean, you just you trust me here, Sergeant. They say you're on the payroll. These guys, they know their stuff. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. You've been around long enough. I trust you. Right, right. Exactly. I mean, these players, they know. Right. right. I mean, they just you know. Yeah. Whatever. No, I read it on the internet. It's like laundering. Wait, so what, both, what he did is he were paid to hand off to Darabail. That way, you would look old. Payroll apparently. Um. <laughs> But I would have to say that last month, or two months ago, we were on the IB payroll. Because you remember when we did the IB thing, we let them uh, work that thing out with TMO? And all the forums were like, oh, well, you know, they're just favoring IB, and I, they're butt buddies with IB, and blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Oh, man. Uh, and don't forget, <laughs> we're trying to keep, uh, who, which R guild was it that ate a raid suspension for getting on the, uh... Getting it on the list when they uh, were locked out. Was that Azor Guard? You mean Azrael? No, 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 not Azrael. You said Red Guild. Oh, Class R Guild. Got yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it was Azor Guard. I get lots of hate about the Azor Guard suspension. Oh, yeah, I know. And it's I... like, hands are tied on Class R. Mm -hmm. Like, right, there's right. no wiggle room on Class R. The well, guilds... there's, there's, a, there's a tiny bit, right? But it's... It's very limited and it's very circumstantial. With breaking and I the rules, the article, don't think that's fair. But you got to look at it from—I mean, you got to see the whole picture here, which is what we always sit back and do. And when you're class R, class R is basically the whole server. Like the entire server is in class R, except for the guilds that are in class C. And you know, a class R guild—I mean, that's great. Like, let's say you've got two class R guilds that are racing for a class R mob, and uh, one of them's got too many people logged in. Now, if this was a situation where, like, it was in VP, where it literally only affects two guilds, like, that would be great. You guys could work something out. But because it affects everybody, and because you can't say for certain that, you know, there's not some other guild who's trying to get that target, too, that you're screwing out of. Um, so, yeah, there's very little wiggle room in Class R because it's the public class. If you want special privileges, if you... Well, not special privileges, but if you want to have more flexibility in what you're doing... You gotta go into class C. It's like this. It's like this. If you want to go swimming, and you go to the big public pool at the park, there's certain rules you have to follow. But if you're my buddy, and you come over to the pool at my house, we're absolutely allowed to jump off the garage, drunk as shit, into the pool and do whatever we want. Right. Right. I mean, that's, that's no peeing. Well, I mean, don't get caught. I don't think you're really allowed to pee in either one of the pools. <laughs> we've, got the, we've got the special dye in this. <laughs> yeah, it shit turns blue. <laughs> Oh, uh, if I had a pool, I would absolutely use that. But I mean, that's that's pretty much how it is. Class C is a is a is a private pool, and Class R is a public pool. And literally anybody who shows up can sh can swim in the public pool. Right. I heard that. <laughs> um, someone has a very good question about casinos, but I literally just finished eating, and if I don't smoke, I might break my monitor. All right, so you I'd go like smoke, and about... we're going to hold the casino question until you get yeah, back. Yeah, I'd like to talk about the casino thing. Because that's a big one. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'll be right back. I'll just briefly touch on it and let Darabil handle the bulk of it, because I know that's a personal spot for him. But in a nutshell, just stay away from casinos, guys. Just stay away. They're very bad. Uh, Uber Bandit, do you use the casinos at all? Um, I've pondered it maybe once or twice, but I'm much too poverty to actually do anything with it. <laughs> I It's hard to gamble when you know you're not going to get that money back in any time in the next three years. So, um, but like, as far as like the casinos go, I don't know, it seems really obvious to me. Hmm. I'm going to give this guy a bunch of money. And then he promises to give me money back. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Do you have to give the money first? Well, Depends yeah. Depends on whether or not you're getting scammed. If you're at a casino, though, I mean, I wouldn't let anybody roll without giving me the money first. Oh, well, I wouldn't give a stranger money. Well, you're smarter than most people. Because <laughs> I can't even tell you how many petitions I've seen where it's like, I gave this guy a bajillion de platinum pieces, and now I win, and he's gone. You know, and... it's 
It's really easy. Here's what you do. You do the rolling with the trade window open. Yeah. I guess, but if I that... lose, I can just hit cancel. That's right. right. But, I mean, the other, the, the casino man doesn't lose anything for it. All right, I gotta say That's, that's his risk of someone just fucking quitting out. I have to say words. Okay. Words need to be said. All right. Because I have a feeling that Zary Barry is just going to keep spamming the shit out of me if I don't say these words. Uh-huh. And so, uh, um, um, Willie McFort murder face to Mig, Exmo, Charistic, Zary Barry a bajillion times. Thank you for clicking the follow button. Please stop spamming my email. The phone is far away from the mic, and it's a different mic, so it might not pick up the sound. I'm sorry. I'll put it closer if it will make you feel better. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but uh, I felt that had to be a thing. And just for the record, if we could move casinos to ghost ships, I would absolutely do that. But the one time I asked Nobog about staff-ran casinos, he shot it down. So... I mean, maybe well, I sense. can talk to Derry Bale and he can, uh, we could talk about revisiting the subject. But basically, it, it would just open a whole can of worms for players to accuse us of corruption if we ran casinos. I just, I guess I'm just still surprised this is honestly a problem. Like, I agree. what, scabbing? Well, that, yeah, that people are complaining that they were scammed by a casino. Oh man, people complain about everything. Like, I don't it it hurts because I I don't know how stupid you have to be to trust someone with that about a button like amount of money guaranteed 100% if you don't actually know them or something or have any guarantee. Uh, I don't know. It's, at that point what you're doing is you're doing it knowing full well that if it goes wrong you, you're planning to just bitch your head off until it gets fixed. You gotta look at EC casinos the way you would look at bookies in real life. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna go bet on a football game with, you know, $30,000 to a bookie who has no reputation and that nobody you know has dealt with. Um, you're not gonna give that kind of money to someone unless you know they've paid somebody out and you're not just gonna lose it. And and for some reason, people don't apply the bookie theory to EverQuest, but well, they Zary should. Well, brings brings it up. Um, people are assuming trades are protected. It's not a trade, though. You're not giving it like like a trade. You would be buying something because trading money for more money that's that's not a trade. <laughs> what that's... what if there was a um. What if there was a, 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 a third party, you know, like that guy that used to hold money while... Bob, the Bob the Baker. Yeah. Bob the Baker? Banker, with an banker. N. <laughs> hey, maybe Portosaurus can start that up on the side. Uh, Food I would trust Portosaurus. I would absolutely trust Portosaurus. Well, yeah, they're, you know, legit escrow. Used to be a thing. I don't know if anyone does it now. It's hard. There's not very many trustworthy people around, and most of the old timers don't log in anymore. There's a lot of people that I trust. I trust a lot of people in my guild. Well, you happen to be lucky enough to A, have been here for a very long time, and B, um, you're lucky enough to have a guild. There's lots of people who don't have guilds or who are in really small guilds with just a few real life friends or. A handful of in-game people and and they're like oh this will be fun i'll double my money in ec and <laughs> they give every last coin to uh some nerd and that nerd just uh just takes the money and slash cues yeah i have had people like they'll like inspect me and then they'll hand me something and say can you give this to my alt yeah, when I was a player, that's what I used to do. I would find someone in my guild and just be like, hey, help me transfer items. And they'd be no, like, I'm yeah. Strangers. Strangers oh, see my TMO tag. Nick, you're e famous. Know that I'm a really person. What? You're e famous now. You might be e famous. Ooh. So. Like, people see Nick. Oh, yeah, it's the Nick's girl from the, the stream. I do get that every once in a while when I'm yeah. like. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> 
I still get to figure out who streams with the with the name Nix. I've been watching his streams for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Is he actually came in the chat one night and pretended to be me and said a few things and so I remember that. Him. He actually streams? He actually streams. He's like uh some kind of uh, like might be Austrian or some kind of German or something like that. I'm back. Welcome back, buddy. Um, you missed the best analogy ever. And I was just going to say, people need to treat EC casinos like you would treat a bookie in real life. Right. If you don't, if he doesn't have a reputation, you don't know him, your buddies don't use him, you probably shouldn't give him a lot of money on the big game. Yup, yup. Because he'll break your legs if he has to collect, <laughs> but he might slash Q if, if you win. Right, right. <laughs> You'll just see yeah, a neutral I mean, last you never see him again. That's the thing about the casinos is um, there's so many problems, all right? And I've been looking at this for months, and um, I will say that I personally want to shut down all of the casinos. Uh, it's not just because of the scams, although that is an issue. Um, although, frankly, if you get scammed by a casino, you're kind of at fault because you shouldn't have trusted them in the first place. But re regardless, casinos aren't supposed to be defrauding people. That is against the rules. So um, I wouldn't expect if you get screwed by a casino, don't expect to get anything back, but they'll probably get taken care of. Um, all of that being said, uh, out of all the casinos we have in on Project 1999, I would say maybe and I really do mean maybe 20 percent of them are like legit money making businesses and don't do anything else. Like, that's all, it's all legit, and everything's good, and they're not scamming people or RMTing or anything like that. Um, the rest of them, I would say, are scammers and, and RMTers and who the fuck knows what else. Um, it's a serious problem, and um, something may happen because of that. It may not. Uh, we'll just have to see. Um, there about, is there a way to turn off rolling so you don't have to... The Track says the only problem you can I put have it into a different knows. chat window and then minimize the chat window, but I think it's under the other category, which would put a lot of other stuff in that window too. So, and yeah, the rolling is really annoying too in EC. I know that. Um, you know, like I said before, if it was if it was just up to me and I didn't have to convince anybody else on staff, the nobody would be running a casino right now. Um, I know it's classic. I get that. Um, but I have my reasons for wanting it to be gone, and they're very good ones. That's um, actually the only argument for keeping them open, if I recall correctly, is that they're classic. That is classic, right, yeah. right. How That's did live treat And them? I remember on my server, casinos were frowned upon. Like Frowned upon, sure, but they still happened. Um, kind of, sort of. Like, they would get shut down on Aone Roro. By staff? So, I don't know. By staff, or just people wouldn't use them? by staff oh wow yeah yeah we never had staff intervene with casinos but people just never used them because it was like if i win you're not gonna pay me <laughs> i mean i don't know this might be my really unpopular opinion but if you're not like scammed through a glitch or exploit or you know some sort of craziness it's totally your fault yeah, I would say the blame is at least 70-30 on you. Like, uh, especially because some of these scams are just so, so primitive. It's like, come on, yeah. like, don't be so trusting, you know? Like, and here's the thing, like, it's only going to happen once, even if you do. The, you're going to look at, like, a fucking Leatherfoot Raider cap. You're going to do it once. Or whatever the hell it is. The, yeah, the EC port one. You'll buy yeah, I'm just going to say real once. quick. I'm, I'm going to cut you off, man. I'm sorry, because yeah. everybody's asking this question. Two things. We're not going to discuss punishments about players' accounts. We just don't do it. If somebody got banned, we're not going to tell you they got banned. If they got suspended, we're not going to tell you they got suspended. That's always been a rule. It's something we're not going to break now. Number two. Um, don't expect the, me or Sirkin or any of the guides to ever get any of your items back if you get scammed. Just don't expect it to happen. Sometimes it might. Sometimes they might be recoverable. Sometimes you might be able to get them back to you. Other times, they're gone. There's nothing we can do. And if you get scammed, this is what I'm saying, is you need to stop trusting people. Because if you get scammed, don't count on us to get your items back. We may ban the player who took your items, but you're not necessarily going to get them back. So you really need to protect yourselves. And I have a thread, and got a th everybody's got a thread. All the GM staff has a thread on why you shouldn't be stupid. 
Um, and it's really simple, guys. Like you could stop all the scams in Norath if everybody just started being smart. Like that's that's that that's it. That's the bottom line. Um, stop like being SDG. dummies. Stop being dummies. Yeah, yeah. We're I mean yeah we're not gonna step in if you get screwed by a casino. We're not gonna step in and get your money back. We're just not. Uh, we might do something about the casino, but that's gonna be the extent of it. Um, and I will also say this. Uh, Nine hundred ninety-nine times out of a thousand, so ninety-nine point nine percent of the time, we will not reimburse platinum that you got scammed out of. Um, I really want everybody to be aware that if you get screwed in a purchase and all you lost was platinum, you will not get that back. We just don't reimburse trip platinum. Um, I personally can't like my big thing this past year has been trying to remove as much platinum from the economy as much illegitimate platinum whether it's been RMT or whether you know whatever it is uh, I think I've done a pretty good job so far uh, and that's why I'm not gonna put more platinum into the economy by creating it um, and that's been my crusade and uh, the other big part is that when we're reimbursing platinum sometimes it's really hard to track down whether or not you actually had the platinum Obviously, if you just trade it off, we can see that. But I've had people say, oh, my platinum poofed, and there's nothing I can do about that. I, I can't track poof platinum. It, it is really hard. And if we could do it, we might do it, but we're not going to do it. And as far as items, because I know sometimes people are like, but items! You have to remember that those people don't just sit on those items. They turn around and sell them or trade them usually as quickly as they can immediately and once that happens we're not going to start punishing or taking things away from innocent players because you fell for a 15 year old scam right. so i mean once it's been redistributed into the economy unless we're going to ban the person it's on there's not much we can do we're not going to dupe the item to just give it give you another one exactly yeah, we're really against that, and uh, we're against any kind of duping of items or, you know, filling more platinum in the economy, that kind of thing. Okay, yeah. this person There's has a question. Enough mud if somebody's, if, if you have a friend helping you out, or somebody that you thought you trusted that was going to transfer some Use platinum somebody to more your... trusted. Okay. That's all I have so, to say. So like, that's you might, the platinum it's you're the same situation. About. You might get your items back. But you might not, so just don't risk it in the first place. Like, yeah. even 9 times out of 10, it's way safer to just drop transfer than it would be to try to hand them over to someone right. if you're that unsure. Like, drop you transferring drop isn't that transfer spooky. Money. Well, yes. No, but, but you can buy gems. Yeah, I've done that. I, I drop transferred stuff all the time to yeah. my... Uh, yeah, home. I've done that on red. I dropped uh, 10 stacks of rubies to transfer cash between characters. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid to make friends and join yeah. a guild. Yeah, totally. I mean, not it's... only that, but there's there's some trusted transfer services in EC. I think at this point, nobody should be getting scammed because there's enough trusted escrow services that that shouldn't be happening. Well, the problem is if once in a while there's no one online, people are impatient as hell. I know, I, I know. Mean... But those people need to wait, man. I mean, come on. <laughs> This you want to be impatient and lose your fungi and then come to me because it got scammed? Like, you could have waited a couple hours and then just, you know, gotten it taken care of legitimately. Well, it's like, like I'm not trying to sound, I don't think so Sergeant's trying to sound, like, we're not, we're not callous to your guys' situation. Like, I don't want to make it sound like we don't give a shit. Because, like, we understand. We would that... restore everything if, except platinum, probably, if we could. At least like, I would. But we can't, I mean, we legit, it would be so bad for so many things if we just made duplicates of items to give everybody back everything they lost. Right. I mean, yeah. if we duped a fungi tunic every time someone got scammed out of one, it would be horrible for, for the server. There'd be too many of them. Well, here, like, Trendy is, you know, being Trendy, but, like, yeah. It's EverQuest. There is a risk when trying to get items from one character to another. Shit's classic. Well, I have a question. In in the guild thread, somebody posted uh, a petition. And I thought it was so cute. He thought it was the guide form instead of the guild form. <laughs> he, wanted a, 
he had had some raw rawhide items he needed back. Oh my god, I just saw that. <laughs> it was like a it was like a wooden box and like uh -huh. a full set of rawhide gear and then like crushed bone shoulder pads. Uh-huh. And he was like, I really need these back. I was like, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> game over if you don't get those rawhide shoulder pads yeah. back. He was like, I talked to a GM in game and he said that, that I should petition here for my rawhide shoulder pads. And I was like, uh, well, I guess I guess that's true. This is what you petition for that, but like I'm pretty oh. sure even Uberman it wouldn't bother <laughs> to get that shit back. Okay, it just, it just occurred to me that you can't tell us the outcome of that petition. Um why I mean, I can't. It's just not all that interesting. There's really no player discipline involved in that one. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah, I mean, he got the items back. Like, it was a legitimate reimbursement, but it was just silly that it was such a small amount, you know? And, like, right before that, I was, like, putting a fungi on somebody because they had poofed. And it was, like, rawhide tunic right after that. But yeah, I've been slowly progressing. If you have a poofed item in particular, I know... Uh, well, there shouldn't be any more of these now, but I know that some people have been waiting for, like, even two months for me to get to their poofed item. Um, I got through all the ones that were in June, and I am most of the way through July, so if you had a poofed item in the last month, it's probably going to get restored soon. Um, I've been really busy in real life, and it takes a ridiculous amount of time to do those poofed item petitions. Um, just to give you guys an idea, um, because of how much I have to look up every time I do it, the other day, I think it was Saturday, I spent pretty much the entire day, like a good eight, nine, ten hours just doing my reimbursements because I had a ton of them. And I only knocked out 25, I think, in like 10 hours of work. So, I mean, you figure that's like a little over 30 minutes for each petition. They take a lot of time. Yeah, they really do because with the poofed items, I have to check. You know, was it deleted? Was it traded? Was it on a corpse? Has it been given to a merchant? Has it been given to an NPC? Like, I have to check all those things. I have to find out when you had the item. I have to make sure that you didn't just give it away or drop it or delete it or something. And then I can finally restore it. Um, I will say, as far as drop transfers go, I highly recommend, if you don't have anybody to trust, you should drop transfer. There's far less risk. Far less risk. Still risk. Um... The only risk is if someone comes and picks up your item. What That's if the server yeah. freaks out? Um, even then, I'm not gonna say why that's not a like why that's not a problem because then sometimes gonna, that's but, not a, a game ender. Right. Yes. Really, the only thing you have to worry about when you're drive transferring is somebody else coming and picking your stuff up, which so, is usually pillaging to your own not finding a good enough hiding spot. So if I drop right. transferred something. Three years ago, would you be able to find it? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Don't even try. I wouldn't. Yeah, I probably would even look. I had a full set of dark elf cultural that I um, tried to drop transfer. I had a full a set DBSO, of. DBSO I had a full server. set of Velius armor that I drop transferred three years ago and <laughs> fell with, and I need that mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. So my bio or poof, Darabale, I need that. Uh oh, and that's probably like pre-fix cultural too, isn't it? I you know, I had it know. on my Dark Elf Cleric. Um, what did they do to fix the cultural? I thought they just changed the reagents that were needed. Yeah, that. Oh, okay. Oh, is that why it's more expensive to do now? Yeah, mm -hmm. now you have to have... I think it's a blue diamond or a black diamond or something. I, know, okay. I think it's blue. I thought it was blue, yeah. Somebody and, was telling me how expensive and it like was one of the pieces and I didn't remember like seeing it much. He's like mm -hmm. eight blue diamonds in one of the like the chest piece or something. Yeah, like people were making insane bank, inflating the cost because that's what people were oh, used yeah. to seeing. But in reality, the the cost of makeup was way lower. Interesting. Uh, I've never had culture armor. I don't even know like what the stats are on it. A lot of them are kind of. At, there's a couple sets that are good, but a lot of it is ass. At least in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's just I think it's just tear doll and dwarven that's worth it. Yeah, and then I think there's like one or two pieces out of the wood elf set or the high elf set that's okay, depending on class. Yeah, but the, like there's charisma pieces and junk. That turquoise armor is just really pretty. 
Uh, just to address Trendy Drew, uh, I would say that's not a correct statement about the drop transfers is the same as trading with a stranger usually because the odds of the server going down are very, very low. And the odds of it going down when you happen to be drop trading are even smaller. Whereas giving a bunch of shit to a stranger is never, ever a good idea. Yeah, and not only that, but I'm just going to go ahead and fucking say it. If you lose something in a drop transfer, just go to the petition exploit forum. Petition exploit forum. Make a goddamn thread. We yeah. love that. What yeah, forms are you guys talking about? Those all fucking go to me. <laughs> www.project1999.com One look up. <laughs> you heard it here. Those um, are fun to look up. What's about Project 1999 compared to the live servers? There are a ton of differences compared to the live servers. Project 1999 only goes up to the Velius expansion. So we'll, we'll we are never go up to. going to progress past Velius. We may do custom content, but we're never going to go past Velius. Um, so we don't have 25 expansions. So that's be the fuck first yo difference. moon. Um, what was that? I said <laughs> fuck your moon. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, I mean, the, the difference is Project 1999 is specifically focused on recreating classic EverQuest as opposed to live is moving EverQuest forward, I guess, is what Sony would want to say about it. Um, they still have the revamped we, zones. We, we they like, still have the Luckland models. They still have uh, not uh, they sees that don't belong in certain areas. It's not classic EverQuest the way you would remember it if you played in right. classic or Kunark on live. And right. that's what P99 offers that live right. doesn't. Yeah, live has a bunch of stuff that's not going to be the way it was in classic. Spells, NPCs, I mean, everything. Classic or Live is totally changed from what it was like uh, 10 years ago uh, or 15 years ago. But now, so Project 99 is as close to what EverQuest was like when it first came out that you're going to get. Um, and that's the difference between our servers and the live servers. Uh, and the person in the stream that you're watching right now is actually our lead CSR. Mm, what do they call you, Sirkin? Lead CSR GM. Yeah. Sometimes and, I just impersonate one on TV. And yeah. there's no boxing, no pay to win. There's a whole thing. We have all kinds of rules. We we don't allow RMT. We don't allow uh, two boxing. It's it's free. There's no station stores or pay to wins. There's no there's no Third party programs allowed. Uh, Jerry Bell said Bellius is on the way. Beta servers open. You should do slash copy and get over there and check all that out and break things. We want you to break things. Go there, exploit things, break pathing, break zones, find combines that don't work. Just break the absolute shit out of it. Have a field day. Be the bull in the china shop. And um, and and thank you in advance for your wonderful service to p99 <laughs> we still don't have enough people beta testing that's why i have to i have to throw that out there at any possible opportunity to throw it out there i i have this feeling that it's you're gonna end up just pulling a kun arc and have to weekend it where through all the other servers are down I don't know, but that sometimes that doesn't work work well for beta testing, like certain mob encounters and stuff like that. It's it's better than five people on the beta server. It's very helpful when the guilds get together, be it your guild Nix or uh, IB or A Team, or I'm not sure which other guilds have hosted things there, but I know those three have, and. Um, that's really good because it gets a lot of people and the devs are usually involved so they're getting feedback on the specific encounters that they're looking for feedback on but i mean there's so mm -hmm. much shit in velius from level like 35 through 60 and and it's great that the the boss encounters are getting worked on but there's so much content in velius and all of it needs to work and and the only way to do that is for a ton of people to just flood Velius. And the only way for that to happen, in my opinion, is to turn off <clears throat> the live and the, the blue and the red server for a weekend or so. Because even if, like, testing doesn't get done, it brings 
a lot of attention to the beta server for people that even, you know, never really gave it any thought. And when they get forced on there and then have a 60 and then start doing things, they might go, oh, well, actually, I can, you know, do beta test things now. And then live servers come back up and they stay around. It's exposure. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> exposure is a good thing. And Morbs Olaris is right. Velius will be released after book six. Mm -hmm. That's my new timeline for Velius. So when's book six coming out? Because I want to know about that too. That's after Velius. Wait. They're contingent on each other. It's a never ending circle. That's kind of how it feels. <laughs> so. Let me see one thing real quick. Um. <laughs> oh. What? I have Skype messages. <laughs> oh, people. I have my alerts off, so when I when I check at the Skype, I just have a right, whole right. bunch all at once, and some of them were good. Somebody insinuated that I was not being truthful about something. I can't think of anything I haven't been untruthful about. I know there's different points of stuff. There's different what and stuff? Different points of views. You know, every discussion has more than one, one side. You lost me. Not really, no. There's not in situations where there's like, a truth and then everything else you're either oh telling the truth or you're not some things might be open to interpretation but when you're like this is what happened you're either right or you're wrong really yeah absolutely have you you've never been married um <laughs> no <laughs> thankfully no i haven't <laughs> It doesn't matter. I understand and you gotta tell negotiation. the woman what she needs to hear and let her think she's a winner. I get all that. But that doesn't <laughs> make her right. Like, you tell her what she needs to hear so you don't have to fight with her for the next week. But she's still <laughs> wrong. You're just not telling her she's wrong. Oh, you're right, Sirkin. I know. I'm usually right. See, this is me telling you what you want to hear. That's fine. Um, people are, are usually good at telling me what I want to hear. <laughs> Except people in Class C guilds. And and some other Class R guilds. Are are you are you hitting us all with the same broad stroke? I might Stop be. Stop being in this pool. <laughs> so who do you think the next Class R guild to jump to Class C will be? Oh, shit. I don't think anyone will, to be perfectly honest. You know, I really thought while TMO was suspended that there'd be some Class R guild that would go in there and try and poach those dragons. In VP? In VP, uh-huh. Why would they do that? Are you kidding? They have been keying up their characters like crazy. But once even... they do that, they're a Class C guild. I know, but they can just cool their heels for a little while if they don't like it. You, you guys are only R. suspended for a week. Okay. They're not full, gonna... <clears throat> full five dragons. Yeah, wait. but that's one week, and then after that, there's shit out of luck. Wait, wait, hold on. So, the this big team of suspension is a single week. Like, like that's a big deal? It is a big deal. To them, because it's we, a very we big wrong. deal, yes. It wasn't because even a we week, it was wrong. just a VP. Because we weren't wrong. I don't know, you had two staff members <laughs> look at it and say you were wrong. Okay, there is absolutely no way that that a guild can be held responsible for keeping keeping the the train on all of the dragons on all the time. And if somebody pulls through it, we can't be responsible for that. I I mean, yes, you're doing, and and this is I I will disclaim I don't know a lot, but to me it sounds like you're doing something that you're not capable of handling. And so when it goes bad, making it not your fault's not a thing. I don't disagree with that. I think that the way that you guys do VP is dangerous, and I think that you accept the risks inherent in that the way that you do the zone. I mean, if you want to train all the mobs around instead of clearing them, 
You're putting oh, yourself there, at risk for training. Do you realize that those worms are harder than the dragons? Yeah, I do. VP is yeah. supposed to be a difficult zone, and you guys just train so it all around and trivialize the, it. The idea so if you're going to do that, you're going to accept a certain sense. amount of risk that you're going to screw somebody over. And if you screw it's somebody like over, hiding. you got to accept the, the... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, like you guys do VP in a dangerous way. And when I say a dangerous way, I mean you do it in a dangerous way because it could hurt somebody else. And if you're not going to be super careful and on top of that, like, why shouldn't you be held responsible for your trains? Just because okay. it's VP and you guys do it some special way? But everybody knows that they got to clear their aggro. If they get aggro... Polars know if they've got aggro. They, I mean, people people know. In theory, that sounds really good, but people right. don't, and that's why there's problems in VP. Right. And I hate you to can't sound like expect them to fix your screw up. I hate okay, to sound like the, a dick, but you guys only... do VP like a bunch of assholes. Okay, let me back up this a little bit. Okay, so because we can't have anybody in the zone but the tracker, and we have to be at a certain spot because we can't have anybody. You can't log in in a different spot than the entrance. Because if you are, then you've got a raid force camped out at a spawn. Mm-hmm, because people were being assholes and we had to make a bunch of rules. Okay, so with that comes the, the we'll only pull dragons to certain parts of the zone so we everybody can see who was there, that kind of thing? You guys could always, you know, do it more safely. <laughs> there, there is no more safely. You could work well, your but, raid but party to this, the mob. Next, if you moved your entire guild to the mob and then maybe pulled it like, I don't know, across the room or around a corner, there wouldn't be much risk for training somebody, would there? Like, if you're going to do dangerous pulls, you've got to accept what could happen if that pull goes bad. Or if you lose control of it, like you just said. I mean, you just said, we can't keep tabs on our polls. Like, well, you absolutely have to keep tabs on your polls or you're training people. No. Okay, so so a guild has to, to kite a mob indefinitely. What? No, no, absolutely yeah, what, yeah, not. Where, how did you get that from what I just said? <laughs> absolutely not. Because, because that's what happens. My understanding of what happened is that both both guilds were trying to pull dragons, different dragons at the same time. Mm -hmm. They got theirs closer to the entrance, so we called our pull off and continued to train up and keep the mobs occupied to give them a shot at killing this dragon. And after they killed the dragon, instead of clearing the aggro on the pullers that were up there wandering around in, in the mix of dragons, they didn't. They didn't clear the aggro, and so um, one of our kiters died, and it came after the people who were lower on the aggro list. So what you're saying is you lost control of a train, and then your train went and fucked another guild. They had aggro on it too. They pulled their mob. Well, right, but who had train. aggro first? Why Nick's, did Nick's. they? Whose train was it, Nick? Whose train was it? Why did they pull through? Uh, whose train was? It doesn't matter where they pulled it. Whose train? No, was why it? did why did they Was it the TMO they, train that was running all over VP? Why did they walk everybody both the guilds had trains running around. Okay, okay. listen. I don't want to argue about this. Here's the you thing. Are. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> you can't say that we're making a poll so you guys just have to stay at the entrance and do nothing. Right. Like, that's what I'm saying, Nick. And that's no, essentially I, what yeah. both guilds are expecting the other guild to do. See, Flippy, like, if you guys just want to go and really play good. with no rules, then we can go back to no rules. I would love that. I would love that, too. You really were good. one if of the people rules, that voted against me on that, by the way, Darubale. No, I was neutral, remember? <laughs> I will fucking find my old computer and find it. I'm pretty I sure actually, everybody I voted I against me. No, everybody. we were in a Skype call. You don't have it recorded anyway. We were in a Skype call. I don't think we were in a Skype call. Like, I think it was words. Mm -mm. No, no, Nilbog was like, hey... I want to do this. And I was like, I don't care. And you were like, no. And then uh, Nilbog was like, all right, well, Darabelle kind of sounds like he doesn't care, so we're going to do it. And I was like, all right. The reason Nilbog wanted to I change it I think Rogue might have voted yes. That might have been the tipping point. Ro or Nilbog wanted to change it because he didn't like, and this is my opinion. He didn't say this. I could be 100% wrong. 
but he didn't like, in my opinion, that people were blaming uh, pathing on as the reason for why they're allowed to train and do shit. Right, right. And because every time someone said that, I think it was kind of taken as a shot at the dev team. And right. nobody intended it as a shot at the dev team. It is what it is. And and it's just there's so many goddamn problems in VP. And and we can use our time so much better not dealing with VP. Yep, yep, I agree. What are you streaming? I agree 100 percent especially with the way that VP has been such a shit show lately. Like if you guys want to do VP that way, you're either going to learn how to do it without fucking with other people or just take out all the rules. Well, what are you streaming here? Was um this two tracking ons ago? I don't remember when this is from, to be honest. Uh. I've, I recorded it, and then I had to deal with uh, a bunch of bullshit problems, and oh, so I never I used this. it. Fucking, I actually probably shouldn't be showing this. This is actually one that I believe that, that we got got uh, petitioned on. IB thought that we pulled tracking onto the ledge, and we didn't. Yeah, I was actually speaking to someone about uh, this incident, and they were like, I think so-and-so trained us, and... Yeah. Um, is it over? I don't even think. Oh my god, the whole fucking thing started over. <laughs> god damn it. We're just gonna. We're just. There we go. Skip right past the tracking on, and we're back in business. Mm. But yeah, that's basically... me cowering on the back of the, the hill over there. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh... BDA drug it up there to us. Well. Okay. I was talking to someone, and they were like, this person trained us. And I was like, funny story. I was actually there just recording shit for shits and giggles, and you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was talking to him on Skype, so I did a screen share and was like, watch this video. And that was pretty much the end of that. Yeah, that happens way too often, where one guild's like, I know we got trained, and they didn't get trained. Or they did get trained, but they have no idea who trained them, so they just right. randomly select someone to blame it on. Yeah. I blame that on the Enchanter that did nothing but sit down. That's got to be who, who was responsible for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you right now, that was a monk who trained. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just kidding, because that's what came out first. Somehow, Alamar had, had mm. trained, trained tracking on. Well... Luckily, one of your staff members who don't give a shit happened to give a shit. Sarkin cares, but he reads on the internet that he doesn't. He was going to post a popcorn gif in uh, in the thread where Darabale did a little dunk there. But uh, he decided it wouldn't be appropriate. The fuck is a gif? Did I dunk on somebody? You kind of did when you were like... Shut up or fuck off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that whole thread, that whole post. That was thread. a good post. You, you may have got a little room with that. Just saying. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> Fucking threw some elbows, cleared out the box, and slammed it home. Let me see something real quick. Hang on. <laughs> You're holding on. Yeah, I know. I'm on the edge of my seat in suspense. Oh, it's not going to be that exciting for you, because you already read it. Oh, boo. I had, a, I had a long post typed up, but just highlighted it all. I'm just going to read the first thing. But just highlight it all and delete it to replace it with this. Fuck all of you tinfoil hatting, conspiracy theory crybabies who selectively cry foul and bitch about every decision thing that doesn't go your way. In particular, fuck you RMT theorists. You <laughs> piss me off most of all. The collective bullshit that gets thrown at the CSR staff, despite the countless hours we devote to the project and the amount of effort we put into getting it right disgusts me. You guys go ahead and keep bitching while you play your free EverQuest server with a staff that actually gives a shit. We will still let you play here, even if you're an unappreciative, entitled, undeserving, loudmouth, petulant little man-child, so long as the CSR staff and the community doesn't have to listen to your bullshit. In short, shut up or fuck off. I like that. I like that a lot. Very, very uh, straightforward and professional. I wanted to know why that nightmare was just a unicorn. That was what? a little questionable too. You yeah, seen that too? That. Okay. Yeah, no, you're not. You're not seeing random Explain. unicorns. It's not um, that type of thing. I don't know. I wasn't watching the stream. <laughs> Can you back up your stream a little bit? I can't back up stream. 
Okay. It'll mess everything up. I wonder if that's what happens if a necro turns uh, a nightmare into chill bones. Oh, and then maybe. And it turns back and it pulls the wrong skin. That could very yeah. easily be a thing. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a thing. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I, I hate that neck. Like, don't get me wrong. I like it, but I hate what it does to things because. Yeah. When it changes the size of big mobs or turns something into something it shouldn't look like, I'm a very simple person, and that messes me all up. <laughs> well, imagine how yeah. your melee feels. <laughs> yeah, I've 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 been a I've, I have a rogue, and it's like every once in a while, it's like, where did that go? <laughs> the forest giant is now a skeleton. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know. It shouldn't bother me as much as it does, but it absolutely does bother me. We should have a red week on blue. No, um, what bothers you? I don't know. I got derailed by reading something okay. about a red week on blue. I'm I'm reading something too, is why I didn't hear anything you said. That's okay. Uh Juvento, if we could do a red week on blue, I would absolutely do that, but you have no idea how many people would cry if we just made it a PvP server for a week. Oh yeah. I, I mean, shit, if it, oh, I wish we could just turn on PvP and, and VP. I mean, just that. I would spend so much more that time in VP. Great. Well, you remember when Merc was, was busting out the PvP flag? When it was still FE versus TMO? That was A+. plus. That was so good. That was so good. I remember even testing that, because he messaged me, and he was like, is this an exploit if I, like, go PvP flag myself and, like, they can't cast on me? And I was like, no, like, I don't see why it would be. It was fun. A and I was like, get everybody. He was like, I hope everybody PvP flags and we can all just fight. And I'm like, that's not going to happen, but it would be awesome. <laughs> uh, wasn't there uh, wasn't there PvP shenanigans in Carner's Castle on Blue? Didn't some uh, monk, like, drop down and one-shot somebody? Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was on Thanksgiving, too. It was great. That was, that was uh, amazing. It was Jeremy and Merc. So Merc was in FE. Jeremy's in TMO. T uh, Jeremy's got his monk, Jeremy. Uh, or no, what is his monk? Bruce Lee or some shit. And uh, Merc's down there with his PvP flag, and he's chilling. He's kicking it. And uh, Jeremy sees him down there while he's on his shaman, and so he logs onto his monk. He gets raid buffed. Uh, he runs up out of nowhere, PvP flag on, and hits Inner Flame and just, like, gets Merc to, like, 10% in one round. And then Merc pops men and goes down, like, 10 seconds later. It was absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Like, Merc had no chance. And not only that, like, Merc improved a lot his PvP skills, but it took him a long time. And when he was fighting uh, Jeremy at that time, he did not know how to joust or anything. Like, I asked him, I was like, do you know how to joust? And he's like, what's jousting? And sure enough, Jeremy's sitting there, he played a monk to 60 on red, and he's, he's you know, bouncing back and forth and just ripping him apart. Um, I think Merc got, like, maybe two hits on him the whole fight. It was really bad. <laughs> I would have loved to been able to see that. I mean, some was good some guild has to take the lead. Just get an entire guild to PvP flag and go raiding with it. That's a lot of bots in camp. <laughs> Oh, it's all right. It's fear. There's, they can they can mez and root and train and train and, them around. Yeah, you you can handle things in fear. As long as you don't train another guild. I don't think there's any other guild there, to be honest. This isn't live. This is from a while ago. I'm pretty sure they they were the only ones there at the time. Oh, hey, you know what? Chase626 wants to know what exactly do our donations go towards. Oh, man, they go towards a lot of things, but the short answer is Server the bills. Costs. Yeah, right now, um, we're actually paying a stupid amount of money because we're getting some of our IPs are under DDoS protection. So it's like even more than it was before. So, yeah, it's keeping the server alive. <laughs> keeps the server safe uh when something breaks yeah. it goes to replacing the broken thing uh all the monthly bills the the data center stuff the hosting stuff uh the war literally everything i mean it pays well, the you bills realize the the box is in a professional data center in new jersey 
Um, it's run off of a decent bandwidth line. I don't know exactly what it is. It's not um, something super crazy, but it's enough for what we need. Um, it's definitely over a gigabit. Um, what else? Um, so there's the rack space in the, the hosting center itself. It's the services that they provide for the server itself, which is a number of different services to make sure that we can get all of our users connected uh, without having any lag and to make sure that our users are protected once they're on the server from DDoS and whatnot. Uh, the website's also hosted on there. It's all in the same box. Um, I don't know if people have noticed, but P99 has multiple IPs across their uh, different, you know, our different places, whether it's the game or the, the website or EQ emulator. Um, those are all on different IPs on the same subnet, um, and obviously that needs to be paid for. Um, and then again, the DDoS protection is really expensive, and that, that's um, something that we had to put in. We didn't really have a choice. Um, so yeah, from what I uh, have seen and looked at, um, the donations don't usually, like it's less than what you would think it would be, is my understanding. Um, I'm not going to comment on, you know, whether or not they have to pay out of pocket or anything, because I don't know. Um, but I know that the donations are not as much as you would think. I love all that. Darabell, I'm putting you in charge. I got to take a phone call real quick. Okay, I'm almost positive it does not cover the whole server cost, because I know it's a lot every month. Um, and it's gone up since the server started because we needed to add all these new things to make sure that everybody was, you know, where they needed to be. Um, I, I lived through that that time of real bad DDoS for like a week. Yeah. It was, yeah. and it, it was and a it rough kept, time. It kept for... coming back and it kept coming back. And uh, we made a lot of progress on that, um, not just with, with the physical protection or the logical protection on the server, but also uh, through other things that we pursued, not going to talk about right now. Um, one of those secret projects that I'm always saying that I'm working on. Um, when everybody's Darryl. saying, well, I never see Darryl Bell, he's never doing anything. Well, it's only because 99% of my work, no one's ever going to hear about. Um, did, did you ever find out why the person or persons um, thought it was a fun thing to uh, DDoS the server? Why, why, do, uh, why do people rape children? You know, I mean, it's just because they're fucking crazy and angry at the world and, you know, well, there was. He, he, he probably got banned or something, and then you know he felt he was wrongly banned, or you know, or he just didn't like the the way things were handled. Who knows? I mean, there's so many people who just don't like P99 for whatever reason, uh, which is is crazy to me because you know it, it's free, and I mean, you know, it's really a labor of love. This server, uh, I wouldn't be here if we didn't actually you know really care about the project. Uh, so it blows my mind when we get people who take all this free work and just go, you know fuck you, you know, I'm going to DDoS your server and blah, 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 blah. Sky has a question. Oh, go for <laughs> it. Why does TMO get VCP suspended for IB training themselves? Why does TMO, why would you even ask that question, Nix? <laughs> like, I'm sure you think it's funny, but like, we just got into uh, the huge discussion no, about it. She was like, I don't want to argue about it. No, I was, da, 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 I was da, da, just da. laughing. Well, person who asked that question, from what I understand and from what I was told in the meeting when we were discussing this, TMO actually trained an IB puller. So I would say that TMO probably trained IB. But you can look at that however you want, I guess. Oh, damn, shots fired. <laughs> See, this is the thing. Is that no matter what decision we make, it's always going to be the wrong decision to somebody. Yeah. And like, that's something that I don't think a lot of people get that that when we're in this position and me and Sirkin are sitting down and we're looking at something, um, we know that no matter what decision we make, it's going to be the wrong one for somebody. Like, period, the end. We can't get it right ever because someone's Sorg always unhappy. Wants to know so we just try to do the right TWC. thing as opposed to what people think is the right thing. I don't do you know, know what it, that is. Is that Time Warner Cable? Maybe. What was the question? The question is, Daru, I, any idea about the issues with TWC? Yeah, that is Time Warner Cable. Um, Are there issues with Time Warner? Well, here's the thing. There, I know that in the past there were some issues with certain ISPs, the way that they were routing traffic to our server. One of the hops was slowing down. Um, whenever you connect to something, uh, just quick internet 
101. Whenever you connect to something, your, your router bounces to the next router, and that router bounces to the next router, that router bounces to the next router, and it keeps going, going, going until you reach your destination. And each router forwards your information onto the next router and so on and so on. Uh, sometimes some of these routers or some of these spots can get slowed down or bogged down. I don't know what causes it. Uh, it was happening to Comcast not long ago. Um, and it wasn't just our server. It was pretty much all MMORPGs that were on the East Coast were having people were having trouble connecting from certain areas. Um, so if, if you're having issue with Time Warner Cable right now, uh, if you haven't done this already, I know that I put in the technical discussion thread based on this that you should do a, a trace route on your computer. Um, if you don't know how to do a trace route, go to technical discussion. There's a thread about uh, lag and drop connections and that kind of thing. Uh, if you find my post in that thread, I explain how to do a trace route. If you copy that from your command prompt into that thread, that will help us to either rule that out as a possibility or confirm that that's what's going on. Uh, because I don't have that problem, so if I do a trace route, it's not going to do anything for me. And if uh, you want any more of that wonderful information, you can get the second video for nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, it's not my fault. I got a lot to say. All right. There is no, nothing wrong with having a lot to say. You are educating the masses. Um. <laughs> Somebody's hacking, was hacking Sirkin's stream. <clears throat> was, weren't they? Is that. Nobody hacks Sirkin's stream. <laughs> I thought that's what, why he's having trouble with your cable. No, someone was hacking my life. Probably. Nice. <laughs> like, like, we're right in the middle of kiting fear and we're about to pull CT. It's like, we'll send one truck and the rest of us will catch up with you. Yeah, right. Just just hold down the just fort. Send, send Gary in the ambulance with a garden hose. He'll be fine. <laughs> well, no, there's bottles everywhere. It's not an issue. Just throw <laughs> bottles and socks at it. It'll be fine. Perfect. I love it. Yuck. You know what he's alluding to. What? Yeah. <laughs> Sirkin? <laughs> no, Sirkin. I don't. Okay. Bottles. Okay. Bottles and socks, buddy. Bottles and socks. Pee and poop. There you go. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> A plus, gold star on your cubby. Yay. Oh, <laughs> uh, I found my mom brought me baby pictures. She's like, I have baby pictures of you. And I was like, I'll look at these baby pictures. And I found out that I was an awesome little kid. I found a picture of me at like four years old dressed in like a karate suit doing like the karate kick. And then I found a picture of me in like onesie pajamas and sunglasses giving a thumbs up because I was cool as shit. <laughs> and I had you to know, be like three or four. Like it was you great. You could probably post those without us being able to hunt you down. Um, why would I post baby pictures of me to the internet? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> It wouldn't be able to. I mean, you don't look like that anymore. Yeah, but why would you want? But to why do would that? I do What's that? Point, right? I mean, what? Because what? we want to see cute baby Sirkin. No, no, that's the exact reason I wouldn't do that. I don't want people to see cute baby Sirkin. Oh, that's right. You'd be photoshopped, wouldn't you? I would be. <laughs> then my Day mom one. would see it. Baby Sirkin, like herself. candy van. Make it so. It would be very bad. It would be all kinds of bad. Um. God Man, damn it. I feel kind of bad for, like... I've had two, like, sob stories tonight. I have this one. Uh, this guy... When he first created his account, I'm assuming is what this is. He... Or I guess it's not when he first created it. It was, like, several months into playing. He ran MQ2 and SEQ. Um, multiple times in the same week, and then he petitioned for a reimbursement, and he was like, "Hey, like I'm, I need these items." They poofed, and I looked at his account, and he had the flags, and I was like, "Well, now you're banned." And uh, he was like, "Oh, you know, well, I petitioned for an item back, and now I'm banned." And I'm like, "Well, you shouldn't have cheated." And he's like, "Well, I never cheated. That never happened." Blah 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 blah. And so now I'm posting, like. <laughs> the the query of his SEQ running and his MQ2 running. So that's sob story number one. He sent me like a million tells begging me to unban his account. 
um, trying to say, well, how can I prove I wasn't doing it? But it's like, you can't. Like, it's really clear that you had it open. It even says titanium version of SEQ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's that. And then there's another person who might actually be listening to the stream. Hello. Um, who got his account banned because some, he shared his account info with somebody else. And that person RMT'd and they got their account banned. And then they rolled a new account, and they got it up to, like, 60, and then they shared their account info again, and that person got banned for RMT, and now their account's banned again. Oh, these people. Yeah. Thanks. Well, Alaris... That's why I've been so quiet, because I've been typing all that out. That's fine. To answer Alaris's question about why I don't stream face cam... It's because I am a grotesque 400 pound neck bearded uh, acne faced fucking kid living at his mom's basement and I don't wish to have that photoshopped into something even worse and put on the forums. That and you would watch him be lighting up on stream. <laughs> there, Bill, is there a is there a, a, a... Say somebody did use MQ2 when when their character was level 10, and so it got a flag. But they hadn't used it at all. Doesn't matter. Zero tolerance. I mean, it really doesn't. It's pretty much zero tolerance. Yeah. If I start letting people go for that, I'm gonna have to start unbanning a lot of people. I'm not willing to do that. Like okay. I've told people no who like I legitimately thought were decent people, but I had to tell them no because that's policy. So, like, even if no, I know just, it was just, just an accident, I still, I still have to ban them, but. That's awesome. So, so somebody could, somebody would, in order to get back their account if they tried MQ2 at one time, I mean, I have no idea, nobody, in, no, I don't know anybody in this situation, but if they tried MQ2, on a on a low character, they'd have to like delete that account and start over again. Yeah, they don't have to delete the account; it'll just right, stay right. banned. But yeah, they'd well, have to make a new character. Man, that would suck. Think of about all that rawhide that just fucking gone. <laughs> uh, Uber banded. It would probably affect you less than most. <laughs> it's like there are ten belts on the character. <laughs> Like a level and a half. Uh, Darabelle, here's a question for you. Uh, trading between red and blue servers, is that permitted at their own risk? Yeah. There you go, peeps. That's your question answered. That's another thing that if it was solely up to me, I would probably disallow. Um, just because there's a lot of potential for shenanigans there. How do you accidentally use MQ2 or SEQ? What a lot of people say is that they have it running on PEQ, and then they come over here and they forget to turn it off. But, like, that's not my fault, you know? Unacceptable. We've got a really, we've got a really clear policy on MQ2, and I'm trying really hard to get Rogan. Rogan, if you're listening, go copy and paste my rough draft of the getting started. It's not actually a rough <laughs> draft. It's a final draft. It just says rough draft so that people will, won't will look at it and wonder why it's not already on the main page. Rogan's not uh, listed. Go take it, copy and paste it, please, because right at the top it says no MQ2, no RMT, no SEQ. The, the installation guide is much more thorough. It has a link to a full setup guide on how to install EQ P99 from an ISO, uh, as well as updated server rules, updated PvP statistics, up, the entire thing is overhauled, and it's all in the format that he likes, and all he has to do is copy and paste it, and he just hasn't done it yet. And I don't want to do it for him and have him be like, well, I wasn't ready for that yet, you know? So, is this somewhere where the general pub public can see it? <laughs> yeah, it's up right now. It's supposed, you know, on the main page where it says getting started, and it links you to that archaic post from 2009 mm -hmm. on how to get started? Well, I Would that be on the that. P Is that on the P99 website? Yes, it's on the project 1999.com slash forums website. And in any case, the rough draft of the Getting Started Guide is stickied in server chat right now. So you can go and read it, and you can uh, sign off on it and send Rogan a PM and say, let's use the new Getting Started Guide. Yeah. It, does that have camps defined in it? Because I got in a discussion with somebody the other day about camps defined. 
I don't even what? know what you're talking about. It has the PNP policy on camps, that's it. Cool. There's no such thing as camps to find. Server staff doesn't recognize camps. Fuck yo camps! We don't recognize or define camps. If we have to mediate a camp dispute, we will do so. But those are on a case-by-case -case basis. No ruling is going to be the same. If we rule that one thing is one way one day, we can totally rule the next day that it's completely different as far as what spawns are part of what camp. Yeah. Okay. So where do we send the but boom and onions? Generally speaking, though, um, I don't want to give people the wrong idea that we're just going to go around being like, this camp's this camp, and this spawns over there, and then just shake everything up. For the most part, we recognize the same camp that the players do. It's just that we have to be more flexible when we come in, because by the time somebody's petitioning for us, it's already a clusterfuck, and we're just trying to get everybody to share and play nice together. So if we split up a camp really weird on that specific occasion, that doesn't mean that it's going to be split that way every single time, and that's server policy. It just means we did it that particular way because we needed to in order to facilitate a, yeah. a, a peaceful... We go there, we look at what you're killing, we look at and see like if you're capable of killing what you say you've been killing, and, and that's your camp, is essentially how it goes. If you're trying to monopolize an entire zone... We're going to step in and say, no, you can't do that. Either pick this set of mobs or that set of mobs. And 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 that's pretty much it. Good night, Lil Dory. See you, Lolly. Yeah, Good night. I guess, I guess what the camp dispute I was, got, was talking to somebody about is the fact that um, I guess people have been coming to the AE Chardock and just coming in and saying, we want the pipe and claiming the pipe camp and so the ae group rather than dispute anything they just when pop when the thing comes up they just give them the pipe and that seems like uh extortion to me well i mean if they all agree that that's okay then whatever but realistically if the ae group is there and another group shows up and they're like we want to hunt in this zone too the AE group can't be like, well, we're camping the entire zone. Because you can't monopolize a zone. Right. I mean, technically... If... I don't... So what was Nick's asking? She was saying that if somebody wants to move into the pipe camp... She was basically saying that they just want the pipe. And so the AE group will still pull, but they'll let those people just loot the pipe. And I said, as long as both parties are okay with that, then that's fine. If players work out whatever arrangement they want to work out... Then A plus. Yeah, I, I agree with that hundred percent. But if they uh, want to actually go down to where that camp is and wait for the repops and start hunting it, they can do that. The AE group doesn't just right. get the zone. Exactly. The yeah. the, ch the Charter group can't just say, you know, well, you know, we're pulling the whole zone, including the pipe camps. So you have to buy the pipe from us. No, that's bullshit. Uh, somebody wants to move into that camp, they absolutely can. Uh, yeah, and, and that's what that's what we let them do because it it felt like extortion because they just come in and said, you know, we want the pipe, basically. That pipe. Well, I mean, I think that's almost courteous to you guys because you get to pull, uh, without having to worry about going around those guys. But you know, and you get to pull those mobs too. Mm. But I like it. I like it. Um. <laughs> all right, so. So, so we have to uh, we have to wrap this up or take an intermission. It's up to you guys. Uh, let's wrap it up. I feel like I had something. Well, you think about it. I'm gonna let Nix and Uber Bandit say goodbye. Okay. Nix, give them your very best outro. Very best. But first, I want to say, Derba, did you go to a concert or something? Because it sounds like you've been screaming your lungs out. No, I just talked a whole lot this stream. That's from dealing with TMO and IB disputes. Oh. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, uh, well, I've been on the can of worms has been me. opened. <laughs> what was that? I said, oh, I just said a can of worms have been opened. Oh. Because uh, I think everybody's got fraps loaded. We're ready to go. Well, that's okay. If you guys want to turn into fraps quest, uh, we'll just... We don't. Like without mobs. <laughs> we, or we'll just squish we everybody. Don't. We don't want Fraps Quest, and we thought everything was being talked out and organized and stuff, and, and so when it's not, it, it does kind of throw people. But, yeah, this is Nix of TMO. I'm not one of the strategic people of TMO. I'm not an officer. I am ex 
my own opinions is what I'm expressing. I'm not expressing the views of TMO. Um, anyway, uh, thanks guys for having me. Uber Bandit. We, love dicks. we do. Uber Bandit, express your love for the chat. This this is Uber Bandit of the Save the Ranger, Save the Ranger, Save the Dragons Foundation. <laughs> and www.twitch.tv slash uberbandit22. You can go there. You can follow them. You'll see. Maybe you'll see lava lamps and Asian girls and games, but the only way to know for sure is if you follow them. I have to say, there there is a chance, and I'm, I'm saying there's a chance, but it's possible if the cards roll correctly that I will be streaming a lot of Dwarf Fortress. That, that so that's the would thing be you're good aware cards. Of. That would be very good Ooh. cards. Because fucking Dwarf Fortress is life ruining almost as much as EverQuest. <laughs> Except you get attacked by a were chinchilla. A plus. Their bail exit. Yeah, I didn't remember what I was gonna what my, my topic was here, so thanks everybody for coming along. As usual, uh, we love all you guys. Click follow if this is the first time listening. Uh, I wish I'd said that about twenty minutes ago when we had eighty people in That's here. That's okay, I've said it a couple um, times. Yeah, I think we had a few new people watching. So if you haven't clicked follow, go ahead and click follow. If you like the show, please let us know. Uh, we just do it for fun. Uh, it's kind of our Monday night hangout. If you want to see more shows, let us know about that, too. That's something we've actually been talking about is is maybe fitting in a shorter segment. Um, we've been talking about this for like, like eight months now. We haven't done it yet. Sergeant uh, <laughs> <laughs> brought it up to me back in like December. He's like, why don't we do like a little uh, thing? I'm like, yeah, I love that idea. And we just never did it. Um, so if you really like the show, please let us know. Um, uh, it's definitely something we do for fun, and we, you know, we do it because we we want to entertain you guys. Tell and your all that friends, stuff. make your friends come and watch it as well. If they can't, yeah. go to the youtubecom slash p 99 because they get uploaded there too. Exactly. I'm Circin. Um, I love you guys. And yep, that's it. Yep, yep. that's it. Is... I'm Darabell. Good night. You know what? I count for two people, right, Circin? Let's do this. Chat. This isn't just about us talking at each other. You, you talk to us. You, you have your voice here. I love seeing questions and answering the fuck out of them. So when you have questions, you write them down, okay? And then you come back to this channel next week, or whenever it happens again, and you ask those questions. <laughs> if, if you do that for me, I will give you my firstborn child. A plus. That's it. It looks like they want more, sir, and they want more shows. So maybe we'll have to put oh. something short together. Yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll do it. We'll make it a thing. Yeah. I put them on hold abruptly. Thanks for watching, pals. Um, All the things. And we'll see you guys next week, but probably before then, too. So enjoy. <laughs>